can't watch the royal wedding live, you can stream it. If you cannot watch next month's highly anticipated royal wedding live as it happens, you can stream it mere hours after it occurs. On May 19th, Prince Harry will wed former actress Meghan Markle in Street George's Chapel at Windsor Castle at 12 p.m. 7 a.m. EDT. Page 6 reports that for people who want to relive the historic moments or who won't be able to watch in the first place, both Spotify and Apple Music will have the event available for streaming just hours after it occurs. For those who want a more permanent record of the nuptials, a physical album will hit stores on May 25th. The engaged couple carefully chose the songs and performers they wanted to play at their upcoming nuptials. They included a wide variety of hymns and choral works among the lineup for their special day, which will be performed by incredibly talented musicians and singers. Kensington Palace tweeted details about the couple's wedding choices. Musical performances at the royal wedding include soprano Aileen Manahan Thomas, cellist Sheku Kana Mason the St. George's Chapel Choir, and the Kingdom Choir. Because of the lovely variety of music, the happy couple's idos will also be released on vinyl, which would add quite the conversation piece to a record collection. Interestingly, the couple's choice of a weekend wedding breaks with royal protocol despite the fact that there's no official rule, reported Harper's Bazaar UK. Typically royal weddings occur on a weekday, so a Saturday wedding seems unusual. But the May date allows Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge, a few weeks of recovery time after recently giving birth to her third child, a son. One possible reason the couple broke with royal tradition is that the British government did not make their big day a holiday, so Saturday allows more citizens of the country to tune into the festivities and enjoy the special occasion. After their ceremony, the newly married couple plans to take a carriage ride through Windsor to their reception at Street George's Hall. After their first reception, the couple plans to attend a second, private reception hosted by Prince Charles at Frogmore House. Overall, expect an event filled with incredible music, touching sights, and lots of love. If you miss it live, do not forget to check it out via Spotify or Apple Music.